guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, I've made plenty of videos all about my journey working at home, my journey building my online business, and also some videos about how to get started as a freelancer and how to start your own online business and different things like that. But I've never talked about my own experience getting my first client. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today because I think it will be really helpful for you to hear how I got started. But there's a reason that I've never shared this before. And that's because it's not a very clean story. It's kind of messy. And what I mean by that is it's not like I just did X, Y, and Z, you know, one, two, three steps, and then boom, I landed my first client, and it's been great ever since then. It wasn't like that at all, but that's also what actually finally convinced me to share this with you, because I know that so much of the time when people are first starting out, they read blog articles online or they watch videos about how to find their first client or how to start their business, and it seems so simple and so straightforward, and then for some reason, and it just doesn't work out. You know, they try it, they follow the steps, but they can't seem to get that first client or they get that first client and it totally doesn't work out or they get that first client and then they don't get another one for a long time after that. And so I think that hearing my own messy story of how I started and stopped and started um, and everything that went into getting that first client and then continuing on with my business from there will be really helpful to you and also hopefully encouraging if you are kind of struggling in that way. So when I got my first client is kind of hard to say actually because I have started a lot of businesses over the past 10 or 12 years and I had to get a first client for every single one of them. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be talking about when I first started my online business and I started trying to attract customers for a service. And the service that I was trying to find customers for when I first got started was web design. I had learned how to design design websites, how to build websites for online businesses, and I wanted to help other people create beautiful websites that helped them to attract customers. And I was really excited about it because it was a skill that I had that I knew other people could benefit from. I also knew that people charged fairly high rates for web design services, and so I was excited to start helping people and to start making money for myself. So how I started at trying to find clients was pretty much by talking to people and by making my own website. Those were the two things that I did initially that didn't really work very well. So I made my own website and I made it look really professional and I put my rates on it and my different service packages and then I kind of just waited for clients to find me and I thought, oh, you know, Google search rankings, you know, I knew that my website was doing pretty well on Google so it was ranking pretty well for the search terms that I was trying to rank for. And of course, I wasn't ranking for those really popular keywords that actually might have landed me clients, but I was doing as well as I thought could reasonably have been expected, but I was only getting a few dozen hits on my website every week, and I definitely wasn't getting any clients from it. So then I moved on to step two, which was to talk to people. And I started networking in groups and I just told people, I'm a web designer. But I did it really conservatively. I didn't actually talk to that many people. And so this is the lesson on what not to do. If you don't tell people about what you're doing, and by tell people, I mean tell lots of people, then you probably are not gonna find any customers or clients, and at least it will take you a very long time, and when you do, you'll just get one, then it'll be a very long time before you get another one. When I started finally actually getting clients was when I stopped just telling people what I was doing and I started being more proactive and actually asking people if they were hiring or offering to help them with their website. Now, I started doing this and it actually didn't work at first and I couldn't figure out why, but the main reason in retrospect why it didn't work was really because I was pitching people too cold. They were people who knew me, but they didn't know if I was a really good web designer and they didn't know if they could necessarily trust me because they just met me at a networking event or they just met me in an online forum. So they didn't have a reason to trust me and they also definitely didn't have a reason to trust that their investment would give them a good return, a good ROI. So they were thinking, I'm gonna spend like $2,000 on a website. I don't know if that's gonna help my business at all. And I don't even hardly know this girl. So how I switched things around, and this isn't, you know, maybe the thing you most wanna hear, but it's what worked, okay? 
I used those networking connections that I'd made to get pro bono work, which isn't something that you normally are trying to get, but when you're first starting out and you don't have any clients, that is something that you can do to start getting clients. So I reached out to some people who I could see that their website could use some help, and I offered to redo their website for free. And yes, that was hard work that I did not get paid for, but it was what allowed me to actually start to grow my business. It got me some testimonials, it got me some work that I could put into my portfolio, and it got me some referrals. Those people who I did the free work for then were willing to tell me about some other people who they knew who might be interested in web design services, and they also told their friends that I was a web designer whenever one of their friends needed a web designer. So it was a slow start. It wasn't just like, boom, I got my first client and then my business took off from there. But that's the truth. That's how my business started. And what I also want to tell you is that going on from there, it still was kind of slow. I got that first free work and I had to keep doing free work for a few months before I started actually attracting paying clients. And my business didn't really take off until I'd done a bunch of free work and a bunch of paid work and I started working to grow my audience in other ways, using content marketing, writing blog posts, making videos, doing things to get the word out about my services and to show off my expertise, but in a really helpful way, to make video tutorials that help people do things for themselves, but also showed that I knew what I was talking about. Now, through that whole process, my business actually evolved a lot. I started attracting all these clients who had different needs, and I discovered that for whatever reason, I mean, the reason was because of the content I was putting out there in my own interests. I started attracting clients who were interested in many different types of digital marketing services, not just web design. Web design kind of falls into the category of digital marketing because it is a way that we market our businesses digitally, but I was attracting clients that were interested in advertising, like Facebook ads and YouTube ads and Google ads, and I wanted to help them too. I didn't want to just turn them away, especially when I was first starting out and I didn't have very many clients yet, and those were things that I knew how to help people with also. But once I started doing that work, I discovered that I actually enjoyed that work a lot more, and because I enjoyed it more, I was putting a lot more energy into it, and that meant that I was doing it a lot better and getting people really good results. And so that was how I actually ended up starting the digital marketing agency that I run today. And then to take this story even further, as I was working with these different clients, I was learning more about what I really enjoyed doing and what I didn't enjoy doing so much, and I discovered that something that I loved doing is teaching other people how to do digital marketing for themselves and in a broader sense how to grow an online business and how to become successful with their online business. So I had clients there who started asking to actually buy my time so that I could teach them how to do something specific with their business or show them how to build their business the way I built mine. And so I ended up starting my coaching and consulting business which these days is what I actually spend most of my time on. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed hearing the story. Like I said, it was messy and it definitely isn't like a one, two, three, step-by-step -step tutorial type video. It's not something that you'll be able to replicate exactly and that wasn't my intention with this video. I just hope that it has been helpful for you to hear about my own messy start, the start that was not clean at all, that was not by the books or step-by-step, -step, but hopefully take something away from it, get some encouragement from it that the way that you're doing it doesn't have to to look like an ABC123 type of sequence. It will be messy, it won't be clean, but you just need to keep growing and growing and building, getting your name out there more and more, getting more and more confident with what you're doing, and discovering more and more what you enjoy doing, because what you enjoy doing is really what you will do best for your customers and clients. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let me know and to help more people find this video. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, just click that red button down below to join the community here and to find out when I post my next video. I make two videos every single week and I would love to have you join me for the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Gillian Perkins and I look forward to seeing you again next time.